Guys, <laughs> we have had the most lovely Disney trip. We're nearing the end of it, but it is also, it's okay. <laughs> Disney trips are always exhausting. Even when it was just me and Tyler as adults going, I'm trying to get this like just right. I'm looking in, I have this as my mirror today on top of a toy bucket from something Genevieve got at the gift shop. Anyway, it's always exhausting with just grownups. It is so much more exhausting with kids, which we've known. Again, we've taken Genevieve a lot. But like with a baby, it's funny though, Felicity, has been a dream this whole trip. She's like kind of fussing in the crib there. She's She needs a nap. Yeah, she's just like chatting in there. Anyway, I just finished feeding her, but I figured we would do a get ready with me. It's gonna actually have to be kind of quick because Tyler has Genevieve at the pool right now and this is like the only bit of uninterrupted time we're gonna get. <laughs> so we're gonna do it. But tonight I'm putting on some sunscreen. This is the one I brought for my face, the Charlotte Tilbury one. Eh, it's not bad. I've literally almost used it up in this one week though. So for the price, I'm like, I I wouldn't get it again. Like, I don't know that anyone needs to spend this kind of money on sunscreen. I say that though, and I do have favorites that are around this price, but I don't know what it is. I just feel like I've flown through this one ounce, but maybe it's just because I'm in Disney and I just, I reapply. I get questions like when I'm in Disney, it's obviously hot and the sun is wild. I get questions about like, how do I reapply sunscreen? Well, halfway through the day, like right now it's literally 4.30. We have a dinner reservation tonight we're going to, and we might pop into another park, but um, how like I reapply is basically that from sweat, most of my makeup is already worn off by the time we get home midday. So I just will, like if we're about to go to the pool for an hour, I'll just take this and put it right on my face because it's just kind of mixing with the foundation and most of it's gone anyway. And then usually we'll shower midday or I'll just straight up start over. And so like for the latter half of the day, it's just the way it has to be. I don't know how any of you guys live here. It's so hot. Anyway, um, it's not even the heat. It's the humidity that'll get you. Anyway, so we're eating dinner at the Contemporary Resort, which is one of the hotels here in Disney World in Florida that was like original here in 1971. And that's just fun. But this restaurant used to be called The Wave and we'd been there really not that long ago. And they closed it and kind of revamped it, renamed it, new menu. And now it's called Steakhouse 71 in honor of, of course, 1971 when Disney World opened. So that's kind of fun. We've never been. It's brand, it just opened really, I'm pretty sure within the past few months. So we're excited to give that a try for the first time. I can't imagine the inside is that different. I guess we'll see, but the wave really, I, it's not like it was super highly themed. It was good, like anytime we'd been there, it was fine. They had bottomless mimosas in the morning, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. And in Disney, like everything is so expensive that to get bottomless anything is kind of wild. Let's see, do you wanna just come sit by mommy? I think she does. So there's like a pull down bed thing that Gigi's been sleeping on. And you guys are gonna laugh. This room, if I can't tell if it looks messy or not, Actually, we've done a pretty good job of keeping it clean considering we have two kids with us, like a baby and a toddler, or she's not a toddler anymore, baby and a four-year-old, whatever you wanna call her. Anyway, we've actually done a pretty good job. Like we have kind of a system, like I've kind of perfected it over the years, so I'm pretty proud of that, but it is funny because like right over here is like she's she shoes, a stuffed animal, a toy, her iPad, my pump, like just out of shot is like plenty of things that would just make this shot look so even messier than it already is. <laughs> I self tanned. I feel like I'm very, <laughs> I can't like collect all of my thoughts right now. There's so much I wanna talk about. What was I gonna say? Oh, I self tanned before we came. That's not true. Actually, I did it the, the next day we got here and then I did it again a few days ago. And so most of it's worn, well, I wouldn't say most, it just doesn't match. So I end up just bronzing my skin a bunch to kind of make it, cause I, I just brought my normal foundation. I don't know. I didn't really think it through, I guess. Anyway, I use the Kosas Revealer Foundation and then the Patrick Star One Size Concealer. This stuff is so lovely. The only other foundation I brought, just to share with you the makeup I brought, is the Tower 28 Sunny Days Foundation in Melrose. I love that. And then the makeup bag I have is this one. And it is a Disney one. I bought it at the Vera Bradley Place here in Disney Springs a few years ago. And I use it every time I come to Disney and it makes me Oh, so happy. And does anyone else when you're in a hotel just stick your brushes in like one of the throwaway cups? Tyler and Gigi are literally gonna be back like any minute now. Okay, brows, we're doing the M Cosmetics brow pomade stuff. So this trip has been interesting because it's of course our first time bringing Felicity 
And like I said, she's been so good this whole time. I feel like because she's still in that stage of sleeping so much, and she's just generally, as I've said before in past videos, been such a chill baby compared to the way Genevieve was, it's made it really easy. It, well, <laughs> I shouldn't say easy, but it's made it like she has not really added too much stress. The biggest stress with having her is the timing of like, oh, I need, like just now, I need to feed her or we wanna go to the pool, but I'm like, I have to nurse her. Like I can nurse her at the pool, but it's hot. I'd rather do it here. You know, the timing of that, I got a lot of questions and DMs about what do you do for like nap time for her? Because Genevieve is at an age, she doesn't take a nap. Honestly, she sleeps so well in the stroller. And we're gonna talk about how we keep them cool too, because I got a lot of DMs about that. But she sleeps so well in the stroller and then also in like the baby carrier that she just sleeps while we're out. Like every day we have come back midday and you'll see the vlogs, they'll be on Tyler's channel, which is Tyler Travels TV, shameless plug, because uh, we've been vlogging every single day and those will go up soon. In that, I kind of share little tidbits of things that we do that like help us, little, you know, tricks and stuff. This is the Gwen Stefani, well, I don't know what her line, but it's the Just a Girl quad. I bought it at the Sephora here. And I got another quad too. I have a feeling that's Tyler asking if I'm ready. And I'll be like, no. <laughs> my new favorite emoji is the one with the eyes that are like, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, it's my favorite one. I kept telling Tyler, like, I'm not going to be able to film. It's okay. Like, I wasn't trying to stress about it. If I got to film, get ready with me here, sweet. If I don't, that's fine. So <laughs> this is just going to be chaotic. I just strap it. Anyway, so the nap time. She just... There's kids in the hallway. That's one thing I love about Disney. You can always hear families just giggling and being silly, grown-ups, kids. Okay, I have to say about this quad, the shimmers are so thin, they almost, they like barely show up. I really, really like this color right here though. It reminds me of MAC Soft Brown, and I really like that, but this shimmer isn't it. I used it either yesterday or the day before, and I was like, I'm gonna do it different. So the actual palette I brought with me is the NARS uh, summer unrated palette that I love. I, it's limited edition. I'm pretty sure you can still get it right now, but soon enough you won't be able to. But this is my kind of shimmer that just like pa pow. Anyway, so I'm gonna go back into the Gwen Stefani one just for that like soft brown color. So she just sleeps on us and sleeps in the stroller and it's honestly been great. And the way we've kept the girls cool and myself and Tyler cool, we have fans and I'm gonna link our favorite ones below because I love these handheld ones I learned about from my sister-in-law that you put water in them in the morning and it lasts all day, but you put water in them in the morning and it creates a mist, like a cool mist in addition to the fan. That mist makes all of the difference. We've used a lot of fans over the years. That is the clincher. So it's on Amazon, it's not super expensive. But then we also have these, basically the same one, and this is a new, I had not seen these on Amazon. Basically the same thing, but they are bigger and they like will grab onto the stroller like they've got the three legs that kind of wrap around. We literally have three of them. <laughs> we have one for Felicity, one for Genevieve, and one for us pushing the stroller because it is hot. It is hot and the adults deserve to be cool too. So that has kept a lot of peace of mind. And then like if one of us is wearing her, we'll have the fan, the handheld one we have with us. And anyway, it has been amazing. So I'll check back in 10 minutes. So hopefully they're, I'm sure they're having a ball at the pool. The biggest thing we've been fighting is like afternoon rainstorms here in Florida. Untied my dress. This dress is a really comfy one and it's from Amazon. And I feel like dresses are very hit or miss on Amazon, very hit or miss. But this one was a, a good find and it fits comfortably and like, especially in the midsection, like it flows out just right. I think we've successfully kept them cool. Like at no point was I concerned about any of them and we wouldn't, you know, it's our own kids. We care more about them than anyone. We want them to stay cool and not overheat. But we've been drinking a lot of water and a little tip, if you have, a, especially like a younger kid, like a toddler that you can kind of reason with, you know what I mean? If you tell them, hey, drink, you know, five sips of water, I'm gonna count them. That has worked so hilariously well. And she's like, okay, count them. So I'm like, they gotta be big sips. And so she'll drink five, like drink half her water thing. Just cause she likes that I'm counting them. And I'm like, you did it, you know? But that's the only way to get her to drink water. Cause if I just say, Genevieve, drink some water, she'll drink a singular tiny sip. And I'm like, no honey, like you need to be hydrating. 
So our rule of thumb is if after, a, you know, four hours or so, if none of us need to go to the bathroom, that means we have not been drinking enough water. So that has worked out really well and it's gotten so much better as the week has progressed. Like we've gotten better about even just us as adults drinking enough water, the cooling towels. We got one from Amazon that actually my mother-in-law had. Those are great and they're cheaper. But the ones that Disney sells, there's something about them that works better. And I don't know what it is. My hair, by the way, is wet. I got a shower earlier. It is just full on wet and that's probably the way it's gonna be tonight. The cooling towels Disney sells are expensive, but if you know you'll use them all week slash for future trips or the zoo or at home, they work better. They're, they're some kind of, and there's actually some science, I don't know what it is behind it, but they genuinely work better and they make a big difference. Like I'll just wrap that around me midway through the day and it is so much cooler and it just feels so good. Genevieve loves it too. I can put it on, you know, a little Felicity, just on her legs. It'll cover them from the sun if they're sticking out in the stroller, but it'll also kind of cool her down. Like it has been such a game changer this time around. Oh boy, these, these wings are not looking, not looking good. Oh boy. I made some Keurig coffee here and this is a mug another thing we always do on trips is buy like a mug and we'll use it throughout the week so then we associate this mug with like this trip which is just fun because we used to wait till the end of the trip to buy like whatever coffee mug we were wanting to buy because you guys know we absolutely collect coffee mugs we switch them out like once a month so we get through our whole collection throughout the year you know i shouldn't say we get through the whole collection but you know what i mean we get to use a lot of them so what else did i get a lot of questions about we always split our day in half here and we're staying right now in the Polynesian and it has been amazing because obviously the one park we want to spend the most time in with young kids is the Magic Kingdom because they've got all the young kid things. So staying near the Magic Kingdom has been such a game changer for this trip. Another thing that's amazing like with the stroller to stay near is anyone, any of the resorts on the Skyliner because you can roll your stroller right on. We're on the monorail here, you, here you can roll your stroller right on here too. And that's huge to not have to break it down because when you use their buses, you do have to break it down. So we have our plan in place where basically when it's time to get on the bus or wherever, we're going to need to break it down, the stroller that is. Our plan is we have one big bag to throw in all of our cooling towels, uh, you know, fans, anything that's just random like our carrier for her that otherwise would just be floating around the bottom of the stroller. We already have it ready to go in the bag. So then I can just pick up the bag, get the diaper bag, and then I wear Felicity in the baby carrier. And then Genevieve, I'll just hold her hand and then Tyler gets a stroller and it's all great. We don't have random things falling out and dangling. So having that extra bag to just be the one that's the catch all bag beyond just the diaper bag has been another game changer that I learned about from Pixie Dusted Mom here on YouTube, I will link. She, I have learned so much from her about like how to do Disney, especially she's got two kids, but they're both like her oldest is still much younger than Genevieve. So it's been kind of helpful because she's like what she's doing right now going to Disney with her young kids is harder than what we're doing because of their ages. So it's been really cool to learn a lot from her. But anyway, so that is our system. It's worked really well. It has reduced so much stress because I am someone that definitely logistics really stress me out. And so having the plan in place for what we're gonna do when that happens and so people aren't staring at us when everything's falling out of our backs like that makes me feel really good and i know a lot of you guys have that same kind of anxiety you know that like and it it really helps what's wild too though and we felt this when we brought genevieve to europe when she was younger people are always so quick to help someone with a young kid or a baby like it's kind of incredible because a lot of people have been there and even if they haven't or they don't have kids or whatever i think people just kind of get it you know if we're on a bus and Little Genevieve is trying to, you know, we were just on one earlier and Genevieve was trying to stand because there was it was just standing room only. It was no big deal. Like I had the bags, I had her I was wearing and uh, Gigi I was kind of holding on the back and she was holding on. It would have been okay. But Genevieve is, she's four. She's uneasy on her feet. It would have been better and safer if she was sitting down. And sure enough, multiple people offered the seat to Genevieve and it was so nice. And like they were offering it to me because I had a baby and People are just so quick to help people with babies. And I feel like that was the same experience we had in Europe as well on our little Norwegian, little, it was awesome. It was not little, it was amazing. But the Norwegian cruise we went on when Gigi was like two, was she two? People just love to help. And it's really nice, especially like when you're in a foreign country and you're like, I don't know anyone, like I'm a little nervous, but I will say taking Genevieve on that Mediterranean cruise was one of the best things we ever did and having it on a cruise 
was so incredible because we only had to unpack once. And so we'd go into a city, get to enjoy it a bit, get a little taste of it, but then come back into the room and not have to repack, unpack, move, you know, to another country or another city or whatever. It was so nice with young kids to not have to do that. So you always had dinner in the same place. You always, you know, you were sleeping in the same bed. That was amazing. It was such a kind of, I don't want to say safe, but, but kind of a safe, like mentally way to do it. it. It was so much less stress. Maybe that's what it was a less stressful way to do it. So if you have young kids and you want to go to Europe, do like a Mediterranean cruise. They might be a little more expensive, but I am telling you it is so much easier and it, you can actually like kind of relax and enjoy yourself even with young kids. We're getting there. I should probably text Tyler because we might be late for our reservation. I am so instantly greasy again, even though I've already powdered. It's incredible. I'm trying to think of other questions you guys had. We get questions a lot and this is, is no surprise and it's a fair question. You know, why do you guys go to Disney all the time? So our kind of Disney story begins <laughs> long ago. So Tyler and I met 12, oh my gosh, 12 years ago. When I met him, his mom, Benita, who a lot of you guys know who she is, loved Disney already. And she had all this cool Dis Disney memorabilia from years ago when they'd gone and when she was younger, etc. And so she'd taken the kids a few times, but we ended up going actually like six months after meeting each other, I ended up going with his mom and his brother and then like a foreign exchange student they had. And it was such a fun, <laughs> It was such a fun trip and I fell in love. I'd been once before, but it was with someone I, <laughs> it was a rough time in my life and it was with someone I'm glad I didn't end up with. <laughs> Long story short, I basically blocked that memory out. Like I just, I, I literally don't remember much from that trip because that very first time I went, I was an adult. Yeah, I never went as a kid. So my point here is I kind of rediscovered it with Tyler. And that I think was the most exciting thing because it, is he texting again? You guys on a journey with me here with <laughs> getting ready for this dinner. There's no way I got to go with them that time And then Tyler I remember like he saved up and we ended up going to Animal Kingdom I want to say it was like a birthday surprise or something the Animal Kingdom Lodge Maybe the next year or something and it was incredible It was like our first time staying in a non-value resort value is like Disney's I'm gonna say cheaper We love the value resorts, but like their cheapest option. It was so much fun. It was so 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 much fun So we just kind of got the bug really bad and so we just started coming whenever we could we would save up and then eventually like Tyler worked in hotels and eventually Tyler hit a point where he was like I could do this like I know enough now I could I could do this for a living I could sell trips I could you know plan them for people and so that's how it all started years ago he started his travel agency now he has all kinds of agents that he's hired that are so freaking incredible so incredible so many of you guys have booked through his travel agency and it's free like booking through a travel agent it's free. They get their, they get paid from like Disney or from whatever it is you're booking. So it's incredible because it's a free service to you guys. And obviously it's a shameless plug, but free service to you guys, they plan it all. It's so smooth. It's so amazing. And you don't, like I said, you don't have to pay. But my point in saying that is that's kind of where it all began. And it's just so wild now that so many of you guys will, you know, we've met so many of you guys just during this trip alone. And it makes me emotional. I got emotional meeting one of you guys because it's just wild what a difference a few years or a decade makes. Like, you know, a little over a decade ago, we were going together for the first time he'd been, but we were going together for the first time. And now here we are and we're meeting you guys here because you watch our vlogs and you've booked through Tyler. And it's just so incredible. And I love how, you know, the internet can be a really dark place, but it can also be a really beautiful place where you can meet so many people that are like-minded that, you know, like what you like, or it's just, and you feel like you know them, you know what I mean? A lot of you guys, when we've met, you're like, I feel like I know you and I know it's weird. I'm like, no, I, I get it. I totally get it. You know, there have been a few like YouTube -y friends that I have that I've met in real life that I'm like, I, I know you, <laughs> like, I totally understand. So don't feel like it's weird to me. I totally understand where you're coming from. And I get why you feel that way. I mean, I share a lot on here. I'm doing this scatterbrain video right now really for no other reason than it's been years since I've done a uh, Disney get ready with me. It's okay, baby girl. Girl, honey, we are almost done and we are going to go and you're going to be so happy to be moving. Let me grab her. Hold on. This little girl, she's been such a trooper. Hi. So I've told you guys we're doing combo like nursing and combo formula feeding. So she's eating a bottle right now. And uh, I went into the baby care center, which is basically the you know, area you can change baby's diapers, it's air conditioned, there's like a little movie playing for younger kids. 
bathrooms, you can warm up food, you can microwave stuff, they sell baby stuff, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> Anyway, so I was in there and I was nursing her and it was so cute seeing, you know, the, the grouping of people in the nursing room with me because there was someone pumping, someone formula feeding, but they just wanted to be quiet. I was nursing. There was another person nursing, but we were all kind of talking about like our journey and how everyone is just doing the best. <laughs> like it's so, it's so, it was cool to hear everyone talking about like their journey with feeding their baby because no one it wasn't a straight shot for anyone and everyone does their own version of stuff and it was almost empowering because i've talked a lot about the stress and the you know what i went through with genevieve and not being able to breastfeed and then this time it worked out but kind of because we're also combo feeding and so we've kind of seen it all and it was cool to talk with other women from literally all over the country about their journey like it became a weird conversation but it was really nice so that was just a nice little moment anyways i think we are ready i'm gonna try to let me say what i actually put on so i told you the foundation the powder i was wearing is the makeup forever powder foundation liner was the makeup by mario brown liner which by the way i went to sephora here in at disney springs that's when i got the gwen stefani quad and i tried to get a new <laughs> makeup by mario brown liner and it literally was sold out just the brown color and i was like no, <laughs> that sucks. I'm literally dealing, you saw, I'm dealing with a tiny nub of a <laughs> liner. I'm like, man, oh man. So I need to get a new one, but it was sold out of the brown and the black is just not the same on that. But anyway, the mascara I'm wearing is the Essence Lash Extension one that I love in the purple tube. The lip gloss I'm wearing is the Lifter Gloss in the shade Reef, which is from Maybelline. I love that stuff. Oh, the liquid liner I used was the Renaissance Flick liner from Revolutions. Nine, nine or 10 bucks. It's one of my favorites. I'm glad to own a fresh one. And then the bronzer I'm wearing is the Kevin Aquan Contour. And then the blush was the Laura Mercier one in Provence. It's the Tinted Moisturizer Blush. You know I love that stuff. And then the highlighter was the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. I almost brought the Flower Beauty one that is absolutely a dupe. And honestly, I just grabbed one and went with it. But yeah, I've worn red lips once because it's the first time like not wearing masks and stuff. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I can wear red lipstick. Like this is so exciting. So I did. And I brought the Smashbox always on liquid lip in Bang Bang. And I love it so much so i know if you see i think i posted a picture and i got questions so that's what it is and it is such a great red it lasted so well so anyway i'm gonna end this here while i'm feeding this little you're not even eating you're just chomping you're just bored i think i think you were just bored anyway i know i feel like this video there's a part of me that's like do i just delete it this is chaotic i know i'm not even sure i got any idea across but I hope you enjoyed nonetheless i really wanted to do another one here because i haven't done one in disney in a while it's been a few years i honestly couldn't tell you like the last time i did one of these and i really do enjoy doing them so it's harder to find the time this time around but we found it we found it but i love you guys i hope you subscribe if you want to see our disney vlogs like i said we'll have them over on tyler's channel probably in the next few weeks i know we have some of our road trip vlogs still going up from michigan so those will be going up first than the Disney one. So we lo I love you guys. I think they're at the door. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>